So today we're gonna be doing a makeup tutorial. I think I'm gonna try and do a cut crease Not really sure how it's gonna turn out like I can do a cut crease But since I'm nervous right now because I've never done like a makeup video before I don't know how it's gonna turn out. So we're just gonna go for it. Oh my god I don't know what I'm doing right now attempting to do a cut crease I've done it like once before, but it only turned out like semi-decent, so we're gonna see how that goes today. Normally I do videos with Jack, so this is really weird, and all of you guys have been like, hey, do a makeup tutorial. So I'm doing one. Here we go. What should we start with? Ah. So we're gonna start out with some Urban Decay Eye Primer. It's always a good idea to do the eyes first, because if you mess up your eyes, you're not gonna mess up your face taking it off. Here we go. Go. Mix it with fingers because we're lazy. Maybe if I actually cared, I would use a brush, but we're just gonna do that for now because I'm really lazy. More on there. Okay, next. What am I doing again? So we got the primer on, now we're gonna start putting on the eyeshadow. So today I'm gonna be using the Lorac palette, another Lorac palette, and another Lorac palette, and a little bit of Coastal Scents eyeshadows. So I'm gonna use the shade Garnet on the Lorac Pro and just put it in the crease using a smudge brush. This is the hardest thing to do while you're videoing yourself because you really don't want to mess up too badly, which I already did. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. Now you can all see my crappy makeup. Just kidding, it's not crappy. It just doesn't have enough love yet. We're just putting that in our crease right now. I forgot to put on tape. So, because I'm nervous and there's a camera in front of me, I forgot to put on the tape. So, in order to get that really cut look on the side, we're gonna use some tape, because that really helps whenever you're not a pro. Make sure it's all nice and stuck on there. Okay, back to what I was doing before. Just taking that garnet, putting it in the crease. It feels so weird whenever you have this tape on your eyes and you're trying to do this. Now I'm just going to go in with a blending brush because it's going to be that nice cut crease. Oh, it doesn't really want to smudge out right now. It's being a little stubborn. Don't mind me talking to myself. Okay, so does anyone else know like how whenever you're just playing around with makeup and it looks super good, but then whenever it comes to the moment, and you're just trying to put on makeup like for a dance or to go out with your friends and it looks like crap. That's what's happening right now. I swear I don't suck 100%. Oh my god, what's happening? It's going all the way around that crease line and just really trying to blend that in so that it doesn't look like, you know, complete pencil line. You just took a pencil, just penciled it in without blending it because you really don't want that. Turn on the light. So I can see, but now you guys can't see. Nope, turn it back off. It looks better now. No, does it? I don't know. We're just gonna say it does look better now. I just realized, I don't know how to pronounce this, so don't make fun of me. Oh wait, yes I do, mauve. We're gonna take the mauve color and just kinda help blend in this bright garnet color. And go a little bit above the crease line to make it more pop. And make sure you really just Blend it all over. Blend, 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 blend. Let's see how stupid I can sound in a matter of minutes. I don't really know how dark I'm gonna do this yet. You know, we're just kind of going. No idea what I'm doing quite yet. I wanna do, I know I wanna do a cut crease, but I don't know what type. I don't know if I'm gonna make another one of these videos. If you guys want me to, comment down below. Tell me what type of looks you want me to try and attempt. Now we're gonna go in with espresso, espresso in the outer corner of what's gonna be the crease. Just a little bit though, cause we don't wanna look too dark. I feel like every girl, whenever she does her makeup, opens her mouth to do it. It just makes it easier for some reason. Okay, we got that going right now. Now I'm gonna take this smaller, different shape smudge brush and make sure to just smudge it only in the crease because I don't want this color going all over the place. I don't want it to blend up higher because this is what's going to make like the... This color is what's going to make the crease super defined. So that's why you don't want to use a super big blending brush because you just want it there and you want it to pop. 
Yes, it looks super dark right now, but once I get the crease cut going, I think I'm gonna put some glitter on the lid too for the crease cut. To be 100% honest, I have not tried this look with these colors and I'm, I'm liking it. Every single time I do my makeup, one side turns out like 20 times better than the other side because you have that one good side. It's always my left side that looks better than my right and it just makes me so frustrated because I'm, I'm not even kidding, I'm OCD and everything literally has to be perfect. Like in my bedroom, I have all my shirts arranged in color order, my jackets in color or order, shoes arranged in color order, and then in the color order, they're arranged in the seasons. Yes, I sound 100% crazy right now. You don't really have to use the tape on your look if you don't want to. I'm just using the tape to make this more dramatic of a stopping line for the eyeshadow. This could be used for LPA, like a ladies pay off, Sadie Hawkins, I don't know what you guys all call it, where you live, or if you guys even have one, winter formal, homecoming, prom, I really don't know, but you can use it for anything. And I feel like I'm talking too much. Okay, one eye turned out a lot darker than the other eye. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so now I'm gonna highlight the brow bone, which is right up here. We are gonna go in with the white right here, and then we're gonna mix it with the nude a little bit to give it a little bit of shine, a little pop. Actually, I changed my mind. I just got this new thingy McBobber, new brow highlighter today. We're gonna try and test this out. Oh, oh, okay. It, it's pretty bright. Let's see how we're gonna blend that in. So now we're gonna get a clean brush because you definitely don't want to be using the old brush and get dark up on your brow bone. So now we're gonna go in with a clean brush and just blend that in. I'm gonna use my finger a little bit too because that's a gel. We are highlighted on the brow. Now we're gonna add some shine. We're gonna go in with the nude color right here to give it a little bit of shine. I'm just gonna use this blending brush because why not? You just really wanna blend that in. So it doesn't look like you just took highlighter or took a shining color and just stamped it on there with your finger. So now I'm just going to make sure to blend the rest of this color out upwards in an upwards motion. And this side looks a lot better than this side. Okay, we are all blended. Teensy bit more before I add the cut crease. Here comes the cut crease. So for this cut crease, I'm going to take an old eyeliner brush. You can also use a concealer brush, but I like the eyeliner brush because it's a lot smaller and you can get an exact line going because with the concealer brush, it's a little bit bigger and I like to have that precise line. It always makes me super nervous because you have to get the line perfect or else the whole look is ruined. <laughs> I'm going to start on the bottom. Oh, don't open your eye after you start doing this or else the concealer is going to get all the way up to the top and I'm really bad at keeping my eyes closed. Uh, just ignore my facial expressions and ignore the fact that I'm talking way too much. Do I like it? Uh. Now I'm just going to set it with some setting powder. I'm going to take a bigger concealing, oh, can't look up, bigger concealer brush and just pat it on there so that it locks in place and doesn't end up moving up to my eye like it just did. Oh, that makes me so mad. <sighs> Do you guys see that? Just messed it all up. Oh. So we're using some body glitter by... NYX and so I'm gonna take a different concealer brush right here and first I'm gonna spray it with some setting spray before I dip it in just gonna build that up hopefully not get them in our eye now it's time for eyeliner oh my gosh I just realized this tape and that tape is on at different angles. I hate, I hate putting on eyeliner with a passion. Oh my gosh. I just butchered that. How's your day going today? Because mine is not going too hot. Well, 
We're getting glitter all over our face. Butchering eyeliner one at a time. So we're done with the eyeliner. It's kind of dramatic because I'm about to put some fake eyelashes on. Should have probably looked up a tutorial before I decided to go on this little adventure. Okay, so now we're going to go in with some fake eyelashes. And I dropped that too. Dropping everything. My day. Tarte mascara. Obsessed with this. Now we can finally go in with the fake lashes. It's not wanting to stick on. Love my life. Yeah, my day's great. Outwards. I have put on fake eyelashes before. It's just deciding not to work the right way right now. Now, let's move on to eyebrows. So, I'm going to be using the It Cosmetics Brow Power. Because I'm lazy right now and I don't want to use the Anastasia Dip Brow Promade. Start adding it. From the end to the front. Now for the foundation, I will be using Clinique Beyond Perfecting. This foundation is a really full coverage and I absolutely love it. Because I have very rosy cheeks. And this completely covers it. Make sure to blend your foundation all the way down your neck. We're putting on some war paint. We're gonna be using another. I'm gonna try this. Oh lordy. I'm just gonna leave it like this and end the video. Gotta contour the sides of my nose now. Cause I have a weird shaped nose. Just rub that down and around. I'm just gonna use my fingers cause I have completely given up. I'm gonna use a mixture of the Tarte bronzer with the Lorac bronzer. There we go! Mm. I hate myself! What am I doing with my life? I have so much homework to do and here I am doing my makeup. I have two tests, three tests tomorrow. Have I studied? No! What have I done? an hour of makeup. I'm going to be using the summer shade of the Anastasia highlight. The key to like a really bright highlight is spraying it with some finishing spray first and then dipping it into the highlight. So your brush is like a little bit wet then it picks up more of the highlight and makes it more concentrated. But now we're done. I'm going to spray on some setting spray using the Urban Decay setting spray or you can use the LA Girl setting spray is also pretty good or the Kula setting spray. I like that one too. Make sure you guys tell me what challenges, makeup tutorials, or anything you guys want me to do next. Hopefully it won't be this big of a mess. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jack Freeman. This is Gabrielle Moses, and today we're gonna be doing something extra special. So a lot of you guys are always saying, why do you only vlog, you know? Why do you only vlog? Why don't you do some challenge videos like you used to do? Well, for one, you know what? We don't get as many views. So so for someone that says, you know, we, we should do some more challenge videos, for some reason, a lot of people don't freaking watch them. But that's okay, you know I mean? 